<clears throat> what is up everybody this is lyle no hippie trucking and transportation i am coming at you from flying j in warrington missouri just got done with my four drop load i'm not sure that was worth it boy my last drop was about <clears throat> eight miles away from here if you ever happen to be delivering at that place if it looks like you're driving down a road you shouldn't be on that's the road you should be on but uh yeah i started getting sick last night woke up about midnight sent a message to my fleet manager said uh well night dispatch and said you know i'm not feeling all that well i'll be able to deliver this load at like seven in the morning but uh push my pta out until the next morning at the earliest and then we'll just kind of play it <laughs> by ear so that's kind of where i'm at right now but uh you know eric over at driver's lineup just did a video where he was answering the question does he worry about new drivers driving for his fleet and i kind of wanted to <clears throat> talk about what worries me uh and we'll get to that in a second but man i'm telling you you damn truck drivers in these headsets this shit's getting beyond control right now i mean i i just left denny's three guys sitting in denny's <clears throat> all three guys have headsets on now come on just as a reminder if you happen to catch me out and that would be damn near like seeing uh, Bigfoot or Loch Ness Monster. If you happen to see me out of my truck with a headset on, come claim your $100. That's the bounty on me with the headset. <clears throat> but anyway, I was doing my last delivery out here. And it's not a cave, but it's built into the side of a mountain. Plenty of room to back in. And there was this girl that worked for KB Transportation, she was like struggling. We're talking about damn near a straight back, but she was trying to make it a little too complicated. And she was holding me up from leaving. <clears throat> like I said, I wasn't feeling all that good. I gave her about 15 minutes. Then I got out of the truck and I was like, hey, you need some help? Oh no, I think I got it. Never, you know, and it, you know, she kind of said it in a way with a little bit of attitude. And I think she thought she had it more than she did <clears throat> because she wasn't lined up on the right lines in the dock. You know how they have like the, the lines in between the docks and sometimes they have like a little rectangle square that's like next to it. She was basically lined up way off center of the dock, but I got out of there, you know, whatever it is. But, uh, do I worry about let's put it this way do i would i worry about drivers that drive for me i'm not gonna call it no fleet but do i would i worry about drivers that drive for me now eric was mainly talking about things from a physical damage standpoint stuff like that you know if a new driver goes out and hits some shit if it's the truck it's a thousand dollars trailers five hundred dollars those things don't really concern me i would not have a problem <clears throat> hiring a new driver because those are expectations. Listen, you are gonna hit some shit, all right? There's nobody out here that's been in this career long-term that hasn't hit some shit, you know what I'm saying? So, especially in the newer you are, you know, the worse it might be. But what I worry about isn't things like that. It's number one, are the people that drive for me, as in right now, the person that drives me. And as a matter of fact, shout out to Myra at Ferry Wire Trucker. She just did a video talking about <clears throat> what it's like to work for me. Run over there and check out her channel. She's almost at a thousand subscribers, like maybe 11, 12 subscribers away. Link to her channel is gonna be in the description below, but run by there, show her some love and see what it's like to work for no hippie. But uh, yeah, I, I concern myself with are the people that work for me happy? You know what I'm saying? That is a big concern of mine. Another concern isn't the damage, it's hiring somebody that may not 
understand how to run a truck in terms of just running a truck, trip planning, hours of service, stuff like that. I realize new drivers are going to have to kind of work their way up, but it would be very concerning to me if I had somebody that wasn't able to pick that up after a period of time because, listen, if somebody goes and hits your truck or you hit somebody's shit with your truck or trailer, that's $500, it's $1,000. If you have somebody driving for you that doesn't know how to operate their logs or trip plan, anything like that, we're talking way more than $500, $1,000, you know what I'm saying? The cost of having somebody that doesn't know how to run a truck properly exceeds what you would pay for in damages if somebody was running into shit every three weeks. You know what I'm saying? So that that would concern me. Now, I do have this other truck on the way. I'm not sure <clears throat> if I'm going to be hiring anybody for that truck or if I'm going to have it as a spare or if I'm going to sell it. Not 100% sure of that. You know, typically I'd be trying to look for somebody with a little bit of experience. I, I try to stay out of people's way. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to drive for me, I kind of stay out of the way. But if uh, there's a time when there's any, you know, I wouldn't mind having some hiring a new person that would be open to constructive criticism in terms of how the truck is being ran. Because I know how a truck should be ran. And... I know how somebody that knows how to run a truck runs a truck because I have somebody that does that already. But it would just scare me if I had somebody that uh, didn't want to take some advice, things like that. But uh, anyway, those are things that that concern me. Damn, I'm not feeling feeling all that good. Um, yeah as a matter of fact let me just give a random shout out to Rich's River Smokers I'm only going to put one link in this description and that's going to be the driver that drives my other truck but I forgot to mention Rich in a video I did the other day so let me just give a shout out for Rich hey put a little clapping emoji down in the comment section below for Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. Uh, truck driver over at Prime. Kind of a bigger guy, but big guys can be sensitive too. Anyway. Uh, seriously about this though. Run over. Subscribe to Fairy Wire on the road. She doesn't really put out a lot of videos, but uh, like I said, I thought the video that she put out kind of made a brother feel a little proud, you know what I'm saying, when she uh, posted that video yesterday. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to post a link to her channel because you could watch her video and then subscribe to that her channel from there if you'd like to, but I'm going to leave a link to the video that she posted up uh, explaining what it's like to... Uh, drive for me. Anyway, I'm about to, uh, well, first of all, I thought I was about to go inside and get a, <clears throat> get a shower and get like a bunch of steam going on in there. You know, nice hot shower, man. That shit was lukewarm at best, man. So, uh, it was better than nothing, but anyway, I'm going to come back here, kind of go to sleep while I listen to the driver meeting, and uh, as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by. No Hippie Trucking Transportation. As always, comment, subscribe. I'm out.